it's handled. She's a television trailblazer. I am many things, stupid is not one of them. Fiercely independent. If you want me, earn me! And unapologetic. You can't take Olivia Pope. Olivia Pope takes you. For seven seasons, fans of the hit ABC drama Scandal have watched Olivia Pope, a top-notch political fixer, go from plot twist... Hello, Olivia. <laughs> Dad? ...to plot twist. You think you can rip that? When I started playing Olivia Pope, we were very similar, more similar than we are today, right? Because in the life of the show, I've gotten married and had kids and started a production company, and she has not gotten married and chosen not to have kids. We do share this entrepreneurial spirit, and she's taught me a lot about courageously going after your wins in life and not being told no. Now, Carrie Washington saying goodbye to her iconic character as the series created by powerhouse producer Shonda Rhimes comes to a close. You were quoted as saying that Olivia Pope stole your anonymity. Yeah. That you went from being sort of a character actress to somebody who was a household name, basically. Yeah. You know, before Scandal, I had been really lucky to be a part of very special projects like Last King of Scotland. Please! And Ray. I keep wondering what the real Ray Charles sound like. But nobody really connected that the same girl from Save the Last Dance Open up your pretty brown eyes and look the hell around! was the girl from Last King of Scotland. Like, they, they just didn't find the through line. And so, Scandal was different. You're in people's homes, it's a weekly appointment with you. So, it's a very intimate relationship and, and it changed the nature of how people recognized me. It's a long way from George Washington University for the theater kid who studied alongside one of our Nightline senior producers, who confirms she's as genuine now as she was back then. When I was at GW, Karen Weinberg was my KW squared. We shared a dressing room at the Lisner Auditorium. We were total theater geeks together. Over the years, Nightline has stayed on top of Olivia Pope's exploits, along with the rest of her scandal family. From my set visit with the then Commander-in-Chief Tony Goldwyn back in 2013, there's a lot of hanky-panky that goes on in here. There is. To when our Robin Roberts got to chill on Olivia Pope's couch and talk Shondaland. She has the keys to the kingdom on Thursday night. Well, the queendom, yes. <laughs> and Michael Strahan went for a joyride. Hold on tight. Find your seatbelt, sir. One of the show's enduring storylines is Pope's on-again, off-again illicit affair with Fitz, the now former president of the United States. So much of what made the early seasons pop was the chemistry that mm -hmm. you and Fitz had on screen. Yeah. Stop. No. Something I asked Goldwyn about in that pretend Oval Office. And how does your real life wife react to the incredibly real chemistry between you and Carrie? Uh, she doesn't watch the show. <laughs> Her real life love interest? Former NFL quarterback Namdi Asamwa. Her husband with whom she has two kids. But while she keeps her personal life personal, she does speak out publicly about issues like gun control and women's rights. The truth is I was working for the real Obama White House before I was working for the pretend Grant administration. Being on the show and having the career that I've had has allowed me to speak at the Democratic National Convention. None of us can be silent. So I may have a voice that more people pay attention to, but I don't participate because I'm on a TV show. I participate because it's required of me as an American. I have to vote, I have to show up, I have to be educated. That's what democracy means. She takes the duty of citizenship just as seriously as her pioneering role as the first African-American woman in nearly 40 years to star in a network drama. I get credited a lot with setting the culture around generosity and respect and the work ethic that we instilled on Scandal. But I have to say that Tony Goldwyn deserves enormous acknowledgement for that. He created a platform for me to be the lead of that show and to lead that cast and supported me every step of the way. And I think it's a really powerful example for people who find themselves in positions of privilege and power that you also have the opportunity to allow others to step forward. But it's not just about a powerful man sharing power. That's enough, Melly. Oh, I'm sorry. Scandal's powerful women, the former first lady and his mistress, wind up bearing the hatchet 
to work together. Nellie, I am with you. I love that at the end of the show, you know, Melly Grant and Olivia Pope are finding their sisterhood in a very real way. I think it's been really exciting to watch these women who share a lot in common, starting with liking the same guy, to <laughs> also being incredibly ambitious and brilliant and successful women, um, that they could find a path to work together is exciting. Those themes mirrored in her real-life collaboration with Reese Witherspoon on the best-selling book Little Fires Everywhere. Her production company, Simpson Street, is all about sisterhood and inclusion. We did a film called Confirmation for HBO right, right, right. about Anita Hill. The press came to me. <laughs> to be in a position to tell story is so vital in society because we have to be reflecting on who we are. How bittersweet is it for you to give up the popcorn and wine? <laughs> <laughs> to say goodbye to all the gladiators. It is really hard to say goodbye to the gladiators. In the beginning, it was social media, it was live tweeting, it was, you know, our communities that showed up and said, this is, I mean, Oprah Winfrey told me she started watching the show because it's all anybody talked about on Thursdays on Twitter. The truth is the answer. Do you feel like this ends well for Olivia? Is this a happy ending for her? I think that the way the show ends is the way it should be ending. The last episode is, it will make you laugh, it will make you cry, it will shock you a little bit, it will inspire you a little bit, it will make you think, it'll make you feel. We're really ending in the way that we've lived. Get ready to break out the red wine and popcorn. The final episode of Scandal airs here on ABC tomorrow night. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.